Once you hear Imam Muhammad, unless you're crazy or a total, uh, just a, a devil, I hate to say that, uh, you're not going to reject his message. You're going to appreciate him. You're going to love him. And in your heart, silently, that you're going to know that you got a friend out here with a positive message. So, uh, a lot of people, uh, oh, what I would say, what I say to people now, I say, what do you call yourself? Are you a Negro? Are you colored? Are you an uh, uh, Afro-American? What are you? And they don't hesitate. African-American. They say it like that on a dime. I say, you know who introduced that to you? You see? Didn't Allah say that Adam told them their names and asked the angels and then they bowed down? Imam Muhammad is not only our father, he's the father. Those 17 million keys that W.D. Farad, if Allah promises someone to, something to an innocent person, Imam Wadadim, he was innocent. He knew his father, that W.D. Farad had those 17 million keys to every African American person in this, in this part of the world. And Imam Muhammad, he an innocent man, he, he thought that he had to help his father get those keys. You see? But did Allah fulfill that promise to him, although it, it, it may have been incorrect? He, he has touched every African American that says, I am an African American. He gave them their names, just as he gave me my name and many of you your names came to him for names. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. So, uh, you know, we're blessed. Allah is merciful. We should continue to trust him and to know that he has guided us, he is with us, that he wants only good for us, and that his signs and his approval of us is all around us. And so we should continue to be confident and be firm and be strong and not to be affected by criticism, not to be affected. We should still reject anything that doesn't agree with our good senses and our understanding of what's right and what's wrong. And we should be, continue to be firm and steadfast and encourage the youth and encourage the young believers uh, and let them know that there's hope that uh, the majority of the people, you know, they go along with the crowd. They go along with the crowd and they're being misled. It's going to take the few of us to have the strength and the will and the love to, to sacrifice. And that's, that's where you get the most benefit and pleasure, and pleasure out of life. Uh, you know, the, the less you want, the more Allah gives you. You know, the less you want for yourself personally, the more you do for people, the more you do selflessly, the more Allah gives you. It's a formula that works. I was a teenager once, so I always did have this mind. I wasn't born with the silver spoon, like people say. Uh, people would like to believe where I had this great privilege that Allah tests everybody, you know? And I was a child, I was rebellious, I thought I knew everything. I was so arrogant and smart out that I told myself one day, I'm like, I'm tired of people riding me. You know, tell me I should do this, straight up, I need to do that, do that. I'm like, well, you show me how to do it. I said, you know what? I'm going a, I'm to a see, I'm going to try this out. I'm going to give it one shot. That's what Imam Muhammad did. Subconsciously, I was following his spirit. He said, okay, this is what y'all want from me. I'm going to stand behind what I believe was right, what I believe was true, and follow my own. And when I did, I, I, Allah had blessed me with so many role models amongst you all that uh, when I did, that's when I saw a lot of his hand in my life and working and everything just took off, you know. Dude. So when you trust Allah and trust those around you that are trying to guide you, that that's when you benefit. So when I gave up myself to, and, and I, you know, I thought I was serving Allah, but it wasn't until I started serving those in my charge, my family, my responsibility, to my neighbors, to my community, to do what's right. You know, when I was a young, uh, young man, I said, hey, goody two shoes, you know? You know, goody two shoes, yeah, y'all know about that. So I said, that's me. You know, whether my friends agree with it or not, I found that that was the key. That was the key, and our lives continued to reward me and bless me with more than I would ever imagine or ever ask for. And I'm grateful to you all for guiding me and helping me uh, in life to get to this point.
I think that's it. I probably, I'm avoiding talking about Sister Claire Muhammad School because I could talk, my children will tell you, I could talk about that all day long. But I, our young people, they need what I got, what I was fortunate enough to get. Our school closed the day I graduated, the year I graduated from high school. So that's a sign in itself. How, how can I not feel indebted to this community? and grateful. Although I'm, I'm a practical person and a practical thinker, I view the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's mission as being one and complete. I can view Imam Walidah Muhammad as being one and complete. And I'm a little, uh, I don't know what you call it, when a person uh, believes in uh, science or science or, you know, thinking. So I'm looking at it in a, in a, uh, I can't think of the word for it, but in, in a scientific way. You know, how nature, how you have two cells, individual cells that come together and, and make one and then they divide and grow. I'm looking at the nation of Islam and the message of God be Elijah Muhammad and Imam Wadid Muhammad that the doctors, they think they can go in the womb and change that. They can't change that. You can't create that soul. Once Allah creates that soul, it's complete. And I said, once Allah completed Imam Muhammad, why does Muhammad's mission? It is complete. Y'all looking for the father, son, and the mother, three or something. Three was a significant, a special number for Imam Wadi Muhammad. I, some of these Imams can explain to you more. So I'm not against three just because it represents something in Christianity. It also represents something very significant in, in Islam. But I see my role as being a support for that light that had been perfected by Almighty God Allah and completed with the man wife and Muhammad. So yeah, thank you, may Allah continue to bless us and uh, bless our school, schools to grow in excellence and in knowledge and to continue to be a shining example for the rest of the world, inshallah. Thank you. 